that was delayed. Hey guys, Brandon here with Texas Plinkin, shooting a gun that you guys may have already seen already. Uh, I made a video with this. This is the Smith & Wesson Performance Center M&P 10. So it's chambered in 6.5 Creedmoor, the 20 inch barrel, 5 hour rifling, yada yada. I already made a review on this thing uh, back in December. So if you guys want all the analytics and all that stuff, feel free to check that out. But my biggest regret in that video was I was only able to bring it out to like 310 yards or something like that. And you know, it's an AR-10 and 6.5 Creedmoor. So figured it'd be healthy for it to be stretched out a little bit more. So in a bit of a time crunch, I'm gonna to try to rapid fire some shots off and hopefully we can just prove the point that this thing is quite a tack driver. So thankfully with the Monarch 2000 that Optics Planet had supplied for me, I went ahead and put some targets out there. Uh, today's targets uh, are new actually. So I wanted to give a big thanks to CTS Steel for sending out the targets. They're very, very easy to set up. So we went ahead and put one out to it ended up being 455 yards uh, that we ranged with the Monarch 2000. So 455, set one up there, painted it uh, in a really, really bright orange so it could stand out. Thankfully we spotted it. And the other one is way the heck out there. It's hard to even make up with the naked eye. And that one ended up being ranged at 686 yards. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and do today with an AR-10, should be a pretty good time. Uh, but yeah, again, thanks to CTS Steel for sending that out to me. Really, really easy targets to set up. They're pretty portable, so it didn't take long at all. And we got them situated up there. So yeah, uh, according to the ballistics at 455 yards, that should put me at just over two and a half mils or so. Um, so let's go ahead. I got my distant camera narrowed in on that one there. So let's see if we can get some shots on steel at 455. Uh, let's go ahead and load up. It's been, a, it's been a minute since I shot some long range. I think last time I was shooting 455 yards on cardboard with the Mark 12. But because we we're shooting cardboard, couldn't get a good ring feedback to see if we were actually hitting anything. So, we're all set up. Hopefully, this dope is right, right off the bat. About to send the first one out. This is the one at 455 yards. See what happens. I'm gonna try to back out a little bit, see where it's hitting. There we go. All right, got warmed up with the first ones there. Started getting hits a little later. So it looks like I was shooting a bit high. Looks like I got 2.4 mils. It's landing right where it should be. That was my bad. All right, one more. Got to end on a hit. That will work for me. All right, let's see if we can't stretch the legs and do 686 is what I said. All right, let's give that a try. All right, let's try to get situated here. So 686 says I should be right around five mils. I'm at 4.9, see what happens here. Luckily, no wind. That was delayed. It's nice. I love a first shot hit. Shows the uh, calculators right on. Am 
might have just been a bit low. Ooh, no copy on the last one. We had three in a row there, though. Let's see if we can't keep going. Oh, I see exactly where that one landed. There we go. Let's try to replicate that. All right, good hits. Whew, it is hot, humid, I'm sweating. All right guys, so hopefully that shows you the MMP-10 in a way you haven't seen yet from the Performance Center, uh, at least not on the channel. Like I said, I've only brought it to like 300 yards and it was like just way too easy. Um, but yeah, just figured I'd show it again. 686 yards, you know, it's uh, if you go to a gun range and you have the luxury of shooting that range, it may not seem too far, but I'm telling you, as soon as you come out to like an actual open environment like this, Ranges uh, start tending to seem a little further pretty quickly, especially on just conditions like this. So you guys can see I'm just drenched in sweat. It's really, really humid. Uh, so yeah, just kind of shooting off the bed of my truck. It's kind of got some movement, but you know, kind of a makeshift little station here. Uh, set up some steel way the heck out there and uh, painted it up. Use a range finder to use your ballistic calculator and just kind of see what happens. That's why at 686 yards, a first round hit, I'm pretty darn happy with as well. Uh, but yeah, just in case you guys haven't seen the video, let me just run through this real quick. Yeah, just a Performance Center MMP10 and 6.5 Creedmoor, the only caliber they come through the Performance Center. You could get a standard MMP10 and 308. Uh, like I said, it's gonna be a 20 inch barrel with a one and eight twist. That's a five R rifling as well. Uh, AAC 51 tooth uh, flash hider on there so I could shoot it suppressed. I didn't bring out the suppressor today though. Uh, I didn't really need it. Just a Harris bipod. Uh, talk about the sight lastly, I love this thing. Switched out the Hunter stock for this Magpul PRS adjustable stock. Um, a, I forgot, DPMS uh, metal box mag here. I kind of like the look of it, but it holds 20, so that's nice. Feeds nicely. Today was the first time using it. Um, but yeah, other than that, I guess we'll talk about the scope. So this is my third T5XI from Steiner that I have, and I love these things. 34 millimeter tube. This one right here's actually got a 50 millimeter bell. The five to 25 is at uh, 56. A lot of milling up, cool changing window system. The specs on this thing are great. The reticle's great. I love this scope. And then Seekins 34 millimeter rings holding it all together. Um, so yeah, you can actually pick that up from Optics Plan. I'll put a link in the description to where you guys can check them out. And you guys can save 5% with the code Texas Blinking. But yeah, that should just about do it for this video. Like I said, I mean, a 6.5 Creedmoor can definitely carry out there to some distance. But, you know, within a semi-automatic platform, I'm happy with the performance. Like I said, considering the conditions, I'm not the best shooter today. Uh, but anyway, thought you guys should enjoy that. It's a toy. Away from here, you fly. But uh, yeah, that should do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day.